What is open source software? When you're on your computer using an operating system like Microsoft Windows or a program from Microsoft Office, have you noticed that you can't actually change the way the software works? You can't change the code or add any new code. You can change the settings, but not the actual code. That is because products like Windows and Office are called proprietary software. This is software that is owned by a company or individual who controls its distribution and modification. But is there software that we can change? That we can modify the actual code and the way it runs? The answer is yes, and this software is called open source software. Open source software, sometimes referred to as OSS, is software that is created and distributed freely with the source code being made available for anyone to view, modify and distribute. Open source software is typically created and maintained by a community of developers who collaborate to improve and refine the software over time. This community often works together to identify and fix bugs, create new features, and ensure that the software is secure and stable. There are several advantages to using open source software. One of the main advantages is that it is often available for free, which can be particularly beneficial for students who may not have the budget to purchase expensive software licenses. If you have to pay for open source software, then it's normally at a very low cost. You still get the full source code, but you are probably paying more for the additional utilities, tools, extra help and manuals. Additionally, because the source code is available to everyone, open source software can be customized and modified to meet specific needs and preferences. This can be particularly useful when you have unique needs for what you want the software to do. Another advantage of open source software is that there is a community of developers to help identify and fix security vulnerabilities quickly. Additionally, open source software can foster a culture of collaboration, which can be particularly beneficial for those who may be interested in pursuing careers in technology. However, there are some potential disadvantages to using open source software. One of the main disadvantages is that there is no guarantee that the software works and there is no one to hold accountable if there are bugs or glitches in the software. There may be limited support in documentation, which may be difficult to access. There are often many different versions of the same product. The version you work on this computer may look and work differently to the version you use on another computer. Open source software may not be as popular or widely used as mainstream proprietary software. Many people are familiar with software like Microsoft Windows and Office, and so the learning curve to use different software may deter others from changing over to it. And if you want to use open source to its full potential, then you will want to modify the code. But this requires a higher level of skill and knowledge in order to customize and modify your version. If you want to know what open source software is out there, then let's look at a couple of examples. If you're using operating systems like Microsoft Windows, then maybe try the open source Linux or Linux, depending how you want to pronounce it. If you can't afford to buy the latest version of Microsoft Office, then maybe try OpenOffice. You may not be able to change anything on iTunes, but you can on VLC. Adobe Photoshop allows you to edit images, but GIMP is also available for your image editing projects. Overall, open source software can be a valuable tool. By leveraging the power of a community, open source software can provide powerful tools for learning and productivity, while also fostering a culture of innovation and collaboration. We release a new video every Thursday at 3 o'clock. So click on that subscribe button so you don't miss it, as well as following us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. Share us with your friends, and remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.